what is up it's your girl chicle here back at it with another video and in today's video i will be sharing with you guys how i achieved this very cute nice big fluffy hair um and how i installed this closure unit this is a closure this is not a frontal but i made you think it was then i mm-hmm and this is completely glueless. I can take this on and off at night. I made this unit myself. And um, yeah, so if you guys are interested in the details on the products that I used in my hair and how I got this look and how you can get this look, then definitely keep on watching. All right, so before I put the wig on, I'm just going to apply my foundation to the lace of the closure. And then we're going to pop it on. <sighs> okay you guys this wig is a custom made wig that I made okay you guys so this hair is from I show I show is an affordable hair company this is their 4x4 closure 20 inches and I have a 22 22 and 24 inch bundles and this is their loose wave no loose deep hair and yeah so I'm gonna show you guys how I'm going to install this wig so this wig definitely needs some plucking um, I parted out the middle as you guys can see it's there it's just like looking a little wiggy so we are about to take care of that all right so I'm gonna part out a little bit out of the front of the hairline and I'm going to take my tweezer and I'm just going to pluck some of that hair out. And doing this is definitely gonna give us a natural look. So I'm starting behind the hairline first, just to take out some of that weight. Okay. And then I am going to pluck the section that I have holding. And I'm gonna pluck down in this just to take out some hair so you guys I used about almost three of the bundles that it came with and as you guys can see the hair is very full so really what I'm worried about though is how well this lace is going to blend in with my skin I feel like it's going to do a good job because it looks pretty good already. And I feel like this is enough plucking. Um, so I'm going to do the same thing to this side. Again, you want to part out just a small part in the front. Now, this is the fast way of plucking. And again, you want to pluck behind the hairline first. Just so that you're not plucking in one spot. And then you're going to create a bald spot when you do that. going to pluck down in the part that you parted out now doing this is definitely going to cause the hairline to look 10 times more natural because it was a bit heavy in the front with all the hair so I will be giving you guys like an updated um, review on this hair so I will upload another video I'm thinking I might color this hair I'm not sure if I'm gonna wanna um, change it or something, just add something different to the look because I will be installing it again. I'm wearing it for some time just to see how well I like the hair and everything. So I do think that I am going to end up um, coloring it or just adding something to the hair. Um, I could cut it, I could color it. Um, yeah, so I'm not sure yet, but comment down below what you guys think I should do. So once it is done, you want to go back over everything now. Okay, so now I'm going to show you guys how I am going to install this wig to where it is glueless. So, whoa, forehead is on a thousand. Okay, Lord have mercy. <laughs> So I am going to go in with the um, free spray and I'm just going to spray it right in front of my hairline. Now um, this is 
a glueless method because this is really like a spray gel and this does hold for a very long time so once you spray your first layer on you can go ahead and let it dry just a little bit to where it's tacky now you can use a blow dryer but I'm not getting up for that right now so I'm using my hand but so you can also do this um, same method with a frontal as well so once that first layer is a bit tacky and is drying you spray a second layer rub it in with your finger and then you just want this second layer to just be a little bit tacky as well but not completely dry and not completely wet so right in the middle and then you want to pull your closure down into it And you can use your hand or the back of a comb and just like press everything in. So now we're going to take care of this hat that is on top of our head. You guys, the wig is like so flat, but you know, the hair is just raised up. So we're definitely taking care of that. Do not walk outside with your wig like this. This is not this is the, no just just don't okay do not okay <laughs> so hmm now I am going to go in with my wax stick and I am going to apply the wax stick to the middle of my part and also on the hairline in the front and my hot comb has been plugged in for about 20 minutes now. So it's definitely well hot and well ready. So be careful with this part. Do not burn yourself. I got my plug-in flat iron. I got my plug-in um, hot comb from Amazon like about two years ago, you guys. And it's still functioning. It still works. So I'm just going over the top of closure and then also the front okay so do you guys see the difference maybe maybe I need to get a little closer so look at the difference on this side and then look at this side. This side, this side is super high up and this side is nice and flat and sleek, which is exactly what we want. So we're gonna take care of this side as well. You guys, this is my favorite part of doing hair, like the styling part and making it look real <laughs> so we are not completely done yet but right now this is what it's looking like it's definitely flatter which is what we want and now I'm gonna go ahead and cut off this razor cut off the lace using this razor Okay, so I am going to go back in with some of the spray after we have cut it off. Just on some parts of the lace that has lifted. And then going back in with the comb. So what I'm doing now, I'm just going to take a flat concealer brush and I am going to define my part with this there you guys go you can wear it like this without any baby hairs if you want you can wet it down 
I'm about to show you guys just a little in the front. I'm gonna use some foam to do this. Alright, and there you guys have it. So you can leave it like this or we can add some baby hairs. With it. So I am gonna add some baby hairs and I'm just going to do some on the side. So to form my baby hairs, I'm gonna go in with some Got To Be Gel. You guys, that is all that I do when I install my closure wig. Sometimes I don't even use any free spray, but today we did, and I absolutely love the outcome of this look. The hair is big, it's flowy, it's nice, it has a cute curl to it, a cute curl pattern. Um, yes, and again, this is a 20, 22, and 24, and a 20 inch closure. You can get the same look if you guys decide to order from their hair. Again, check the description box down below for all of their information in case you are thinking about purchasing from them. Um, I love the texture. It's It has a curl to it, but it also has a wave to it. So I think this is really, really, really cute, especially for the winter time. It gets cold and you definitely want something on your back or on your neck to keep you warm this is the hair okay it's super big and it's super cute and i love it so guys thank you guys so much for watching i hope you all enjoyed this video if you did you know what to do give this video a thumbs up subscribe to your girl's channel don't forget to leave a comment down below let me know what you guys think of this hair this look if you're a big hair girl because i am so with all of that being said i would definitely see you loves in my next video bye Thank you.